Welcome to GT Not Live with my special Woo! guest host, Amy. Hello. Because Stephanie has real work to do and I get to be the one on the couch playing a video game. And, and Amy's here. Yay. <laughs> because Amy doesn't have any real uploads that she has to deal with today. Not today. Today's the only easy day. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is today the only easy day? Of this week, yes. We're talking about potentially going to Knott's Berry Farm on Thursday. Yes, which That's is... That's an easy day. No, That's it's the an, easiest of it's days. an adventure of a day. <laughs> no, that's an adventure of Man, a day. Man, if, if that's your definition of a hard day. I'm not saying it was a hard day. It's an adventurous day. It's an adventurous day. So okay. this is the only day that's like pretty mellow. Okay. Overall. This is a, we, have, we don't have too many mellow days here. And so, yeah, for us to have a day where we're just sitting on the couch and getting to like stockpile some video game footage mm. to be released while Steph and I are on a cross-country road trip. That's great. It's rare. It is super rare. But it does make me appreciate, honestly, like doing videos like this mm -hmm. makes me appreciate how being a normal gaming channel is. Because <laughs> like, because for us, we've been doing, we've had like about like two, three days where we've done like half days shoots, right? Mm -hmm. And at the end of each one, you're like, that's three videos done. Yeah. And you're like, that was three videos. Like right now, when it comes to having just videos in the hopper to cover while Steph and I are on vacation, yep. we're already like two, three weeks ahead. And it's like, yes, yes. that's amazing. That's amazing. It Whereas if you ask us about theories, it's literally like, ah, yeah. scramble to get it done in the week. Because you, you don't have any scripts for these kind of videos. Everything is impromptu. It's easy. You set up, you it's go. Great. And, and, and it's, it's even different from the live, and it's, it, it's fascinating, right? Because you would think, oh, the live stream's easy, but the live stream by its nature is just harder too because it's mm -hmm. like each one has to happen the day of, mm -hmm. and it's an hour and a half. Whereas this is like maybe half hour, 45 minutes. Yep. This, this one's going to be a long one because it's Boneworks, spoiler alert, and Boneworks that's, always that's is long. That's what it does. <laughs> right? But that's the thing, though, is like for most of these, you can play like a short little indie yeah. game or a short little like one-off 15-minute experience. Boom, it's your video for the day. And you, you lump three of those together. Boom, that's like three videos for the week. You can like knock out so many weeks ahead. It's unbelievable. It's also why they can do so many like multiple uploads a day for some right? of these channels. Because it's just like you get to this point, you stop, start another video, stop, start it, another video. It is. It, it's brilliant. So anyway... That's me just sitting on the couch pontificating about how... You made yourself the most difficult gaming channel <laughs> on YouTube. The most difficult... I, I, we say that and people never believe us, but like the most difficult to gaming channel. Yeah. It's like, hey, here's... Let's do like really long live streams and then mix it with like really long to research, long to produce episodes. So woo, well done, everyone. Uh, yeah, I alluded to it. We're playing Boneworks. Yeah. Why are we playing Boneworks? Because at this point, I've written three theories about Boneworks, but we haven't actually finished the game on GT Live. I know a lot of what's coming up. I actually don't know what's coming up in today's chapter. This is the one chapter that I've been kind of blind to the whole time. The mystery chapter. It is the mystery chapter. Do you know about this chapter? Uh, I know where... Because you've been looking ahead. I have. I know mostly where it ends, so make sure that we get there. <laughs> Thank you. That's good. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm excited to see how you do. Well, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, wait, that sounded ominous. Am I gonna die a bunch in this one? I don't think this one. It depends on how far you you get you get in this one. If you get through this section really fast, we can go through the next section, and what you might. <laughs> Great. Well, fantastic. Uh, we are. God. We. <laughs> sorry, I don't even want to show it. <laughs> it's just, it's, I don't even want to show it. Uh, this is not a live stream, obviously, but you can still engage in the chat where this will be a premiere, so yeah. you can chat with us or Amy. I, I don't know who's going to be running the chat at that point. Uh, Steph and I might be there. Amy might be there. Chris might be there. Who, who knows? Roll the dice, my friends. Engage with whoever's <laughs> there. Or you can engage with each other on hashtag GT Live, where Chris <laughs> drew Melon. Melon and an air. Why is it pointing back to GT Live? Does it, is it because in Elvish, Melon means friend, and then GT Live is just a community of friends? It's spelled does, wrong does, that way, does, but does yes. Does melon, melon. Mean, really? Yeah. In Elvish. Yeah. This is That's fascinating. What I, this is great. <laughs> yeah. 
Chris, why? I, please explain. Is this a deep lore clue that no. I need to unlock? No, it's a, a you know, it's an arrow pointing up. So when you hold it like you're holding it, it, it points at you and says melon. Are Look. you trying to say that I'm a melon? No, I but it's a, a, a melon joke because the arrows usually point up or down. They're like melons this way. What? <laughs> In the game we're Chris, about to play today. Chris, you are bad at jokes. Are a central part of this. <laughs> Chris, you and jokes do not get along. Like, I, not equal. I just think maybe, at, I think I'm great with jokes. Well, they're let just, let let Chris different. know on hashtag GT Live with it, <laughs> with the feels, hashtag Melon as well. It does whether he's feel good like at jokes. something I would see in like a, a gallery where you're like I'm. I'm a little confused yeah. as to what the artist's intent was. Right. But it's going to sell it's, for like 650. It's, so it's, <laughs> 650 650 bucks? Yeah. Okay, I was going to $650,000. Whoa. Oh. Chris is the no, new this Banksy. Is, this is obviously like the up and coming artist. Chris is Banksy confirmed. Uh, all right, Melon Man. Let me hop into VR cuz as we know, Boneworks chapters tend to take an extremely long amount of time. And Amy's here on the couch to make Ooh. sure that things don't get boring as I immerse myself in VR goodness slash way too much box smashing. Ooh, box um, smashing. Indeed, a lot of box smashing. I am continuously surprised of how many video games comprise with so much to do with boxes. I mean, <laughs> there's only so many ways you can have a platform to hop on, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's a good point. Like, I feel like as games have become slightly more, like, based in realism there's a need to have, I guess, more boxes. Because, like, in the old days with, like, Mario and stuff, right, it could be, like, you're hopping on mushrooms. Yeah. Sonic had, like, here's the mushroom level. Here's the, like, ice pillar level, whatever. Whereas if you're playing, like, a Hello Neighbor or a game that's set in, like, an industrial setting or whatever, like, in modern life, we don't have a lot of just natural platforms. We have stairs. We have buildings. You do if you ima like if you have imagination. Uh, see, but that would require imagination, Amy. That's the problem. And not uh, confor conforming to society standards of what you're allowed to stand on. Well, uh, what? Okay, <laughs> give me an imaginative platform. Uh, mailboxes. Okay, fine. <laughs> that uh, that's a, that's a hard one to hop on. Not though. if you live in an apartment building. A mailbox? Yeah, because they're bigger. And they're like, oh, I guess they are like the, you mean yeah. the collection of the, uh, the little like post office boxes. Yeah. Okay. And we have in my apartment building, we have this like stairway, but then there's like a ramp that leads up to a hill. And so climbing up that is super fun. Is everything. Okay. Well, fair enough. All you right. You just have to enjoy your life. Yeah. You, you have to <laughs> enjoy. Wow. So you're saying that all game designers who use boxes in their games just outright don't enjoy their life. <laughs> no, I'd say they need to imagine more of a parkour lifestyle. That's okay. Fair enough. Uh, burn myth to the ground. All right. Ooh. Well, that's that's a very uplifting message. Ooh, the frame rate is chugging. Like me slowly trying to climb up a hill. What if this is just a tech demo? I feel like what we're if? no longer in the tech demo though. Uh, well, I aren't we still until the end of this chapter? Maybe. Like, because because Myth OS hasn't launched yet, that's right? Why? Like the Myth OS city is still waiting to happen. Here we go. What time stop? So here's one thing that I haven't seen anyone talking about when it comes to this mm -hmm. game. And even in our theories, because, again, I haven't finished it. Like, we haven't talked about it. I haven't figured this out. The, the whole idea of, like, look at the time. Mm -hmm. and Like, clocks play a huge part in this game. And there's a lot of the, like, secret messages that yeah. talk about clocks. And I don't know why exactly. So this is 11.55. And, and even in the very earliest parts of the game, there was mm -hmm. like, look at the clocks, pay attention to the time, this and that. All right. I wonder if they correspond to times in other games when things happen. Like, so it's all about the connection to duck season. Is there specific times in that game where things happen that would correspond to like a time that's listed here? It, you know, it is, it is possible. Like I could see that being the case where, yeah, duck season was very clearly about like the progression of the game through the night. Um, so maybe there's a world where that exists. So there's a key up there. Mm -hmm. There's stop. What's it say over here? Stop. Stay inside. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to go over there. A lot of, a lot of signs all pointing to the key right there. Yeah. That's suspicious. It's also interesting that we're now back in kind of like Myth OS operations. Here we go. 
Oh, we got it. We got a gun. One of the guns that I'm not good at using, but fine. We'll do it. Boop. Boop. Ooh. Boop. Attach. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're we're being slow today, friends. Uh, we're going to put this on back. It doesn't look so much from here. Really? You're not, you're not seeing not it? I'm not seeing a lot of the jankiness that way. Go. Go. So, Who's shooting at me? Oh, what oh, the heck? Gosh. What the heck, dude? Where'd you come from? Whoa. Hey. 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 Get out of here. Oh, get, can I? Oh, I got his mask Ooh. or something. What? A, whoa! You, you pulled his gun away from him. Oh, he's gonna totally, totally kill me. No, you got his gun. Yeah, I did. Ooh. Oh. Wow, that was actually cool. Right? That was almost the That's, easiest way to kill him. I wonder if you can get him off the ball. Right. Like, I wonder. Like, can you pull the ball away from him or him off the ball? That was really interesting. Right? He, like that's that's the fastest one of those guys has gone down at this point, quite honestly. Wait, Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, through, hey. yeah, they're coming through that door. Okay, well we're just. Ooh, gonna, there's a lot of them. Yeah, we're just gonna shut that door. Bye. So my so my other question when it comes to like the clock times. Yes. So the next game, or one of the other games coming out is Dead Radio Radio Dead. Uh, Dead FM. Dead FM. Yeah. Could they end up being radio signals, like? The, the clocks? Yeah, the, 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 the times clocks. on the clock, could you translate them to like an AFM or FM code? Uh, maybe. That's that's an interesting idea. But it, it does, maybe. So, it does seem though that the messages seem tied specifically to yeah. this this game in particular though. Yeah. Doesn't it? My only wonder is like if, if they're trying to tie their games together more. Sure. Like that would be like. And just make it more, that much more explicit. Yeah. Because I'm trying to think of other places where you would use the clocks here. Right. Right. That's the other thing. And I mean, granted, we're not in the end game yet. And I know that a big part of this is like, oh, you got to reset the clock in order to restart the system or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like the clocks. Are you, are, you, are you dead? Are you coming at me? Oh, look at him. Look at Ooh. him doing his little dance. He's doing like a little thriller dance. I know. Because this is thriller. Hey, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Thriller was one of the only actual uh, dance recitals I ever did. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Dance with Debbie. Dances with <laughs> Debbie? Yeah. Do you still remember? Uh, no, not specifically. The one I remember more is the songs that haunt me because that one was fun. Is this? I can remember fun? like three songs. Ooh. Oh is, my gosh, I am so almost yeah, dead. Yeah. No, you're heavily vignetted. Right. You dead now? Unacceptable. Wait, so, okay, so talk to me about your dance recital. Oh, gosh. Because I'm really curious about I this. I mean, Thriller was cool because we actually had someone who, like, did the makeup, and it was, like, the younger kids, which I was a part of, and the older, like, levels of dancers. So okay. it was, like, the big, like, finale number. Yeah. So, which was really fun. Um, and we just got to be, like, zombies. And I remember we would get the VHS of, like, the making of Thriller. Uh-huh. And I remember just watching that continuously. And maybe that's how I ended up the way I am. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I'm curious what you mean by the way you are. Uh, a lover of costumes and spooky things. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people are lovers of costumes and spooky things, though, right? Like, maybe. Spook, spooky things are just fun, you know? That's very true. Like, and so are costumes. Right? Costumes and spooky things are just fun. But I am very much on the side of werewolves in the werewolves versus vampires debate. Wait, you're on the side of werewolves? Yeah, because they're so cool. Are they though? They have so many iterations and like ways to do it and vampires are like bleh, bleh, bleh. What are you talking about? There's so many it <laughs> there what are you talking about? There's so many different types of vampires out there, Amy. There are, but they all conform to the same basic thing and I just Do they? I've had this I would argue that Edward Cullen does not conform to the normal way that vampires do things. No, he is very sparkly. He um, is. He's a, he's a special boy. But the one thing about vampires is it's all about immortality. And so I've had this conversation in this specific office like so many times how I find, and this is also very apropos of this game, yes. when you get into the idea of immortality, I find it so boring. Immortality? Yes. Really? Because it gives, like, when you have infinite time to do something, there's no incentive to get things done. Oh, man. Because you can do whenever. Oh, wow. I feel like people think that they would do more things. Uh-huh. But I, the way that humans are in our, like, evolution of longer lifespans, yeah. we've proven that we have slowed down a lot. <laughs> and I wonder if procrastination would just be even greater. Is, is there a bad thing? Is, is procrastination that bad, though? Um, like, here's the thing. We, uh, Steph and I have to do so much stuff all the time. Like she, she and I, a lot of times will say, we don't have time to be bored. 
and we miss having the opportunity to be bored because when you're bored, it prompts you to like come up with new ideas or like think of things that you wouldn't have gotten to do otherwise. Maybe. I just, I don't know. Immortality has never been like interesting for me. Sure. Because I feel like there's, there's so much that could go on and then what if you're, what if immortality means, so like this one's all about the void sure. and like you become an entity in the void and that's all well and good. You're, would you like to be a, a like a disembodied spirit kind of thing? Or... I mean, I, th I think, I think, I, I will say that immortality in this game feels a bit, a bit weird, right? Like, I don't know if I'd want immortality in a virtual system. I think context I don't know. is important for sure, because I think vampire immortality is far more interesting than most immortality, because not everyone is immortal. So the world is still operating and evolving and changing and you don't have a personal stake in it, but it's happening around you, which is fascinating. That's true. Like, yeah, that's, a, that's a good point. And you get to see like the evolution of humanity and all of that sort of thing. Well, I, it's interesting, but and before before you, go you go. say anything, I was gonna say it, it's interesting to bring this up. So, right, the theory that we have later this week is on the Good Place, and the Good Place, one of the the thing. I'm not spoiling it. But like one of the key themes of that game is this, I or not that game of that <laughs> series, right? Yep. Is this idea of yeah immortality and anything that happens forever, ultimately ending up being uh, boring or you know like how do you make eternity interesting? Yes. And what happens when people are faced with eternity forever? I'm, am I am I encroaching on your your area? I am dodging. Good call. <laughs> Smart move. Huh. How do you think I learned from better? the last time. What do you think? So, so there seems to be a walkway mm -hmm. to the back over there. Huh. This, I just saw this railing up here, and it seemed very obvious that I was supposed to climb it for some reason. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, you were, you were going to say about immortality. Oh. Um, there's just too much also, to me, sadness in immortality. Ooh. With uh -huh. the idea that like everyone that you care about almost always is probably not going to be immortal, uh -huh. and thus you just continuously go through all the people around you dying. Yeah. And I feel like that just wears on you after a while, that either you become so detached that you no longer enjoy life because it's so fleeting, oh, wow. or that you just are always just so sad because like continuously, and like what probably doesn't feel like a long span of time for you, yeah. everyone's dying all the time. Anyone that you invest in is dying, and you have to just keep going through it. Wow. I told you, I've thought about immortality and why I don't find it appealing. That's so and interesting. Uh -huh. So like, there's that. And then it's also, are you here and do you live through, like, can you die? Are uh -huh. you immortal in the, in the you can die or you can't die? Yeah. And so if you can't, what happens when the earth, like, can't support life anymore? Uh-huh, and then do you're you just make floating it, out in the vacuum of like, space. Like, do you make it to space? Like, as humanity, have we made it to space at that point? Or, like, <laughs> can you afford the millions and billions of dollars it will cost to get on one of those get rocket ships? Well, if, if, okay, oh man, now we're getting into, like, the, the really crazy questions of immortality, which is, like, okay, if we are, if we're truly immortal, Ooh, then, oh my gosh. That's a long way down. Yeah, it is. I don't know. It seems like I've climbed this whole thing, and it seemed like it was important to climb. And You're yet, like the cat who's climbed to the top of a thing and is now like, I don't know how to get down. And also, I don't know what I was supposed to do. It felt like this was intentionally like, hey, get up here and climb, because there's going to be something cool up here. And I see the boxes over there, and I see more stuff over there. Shoot. Damn. There's got to be a way up there. I think, I'm, I think I was just doing it the hard way. There's, there must be an easy way to do that. I'm also curious as to like the inclusion of all of these plants in this one area. Oh, it's, it's, it's the, oh my gosh! Oh God. Who the heck is shooting at me? Ooh. Wait, who is shooting at me? Above? W Ooh, you're wait, uh, where? behind you. Did you keep getting where? hit? Where, I know, where? Where is it? I, I'm not sure, but you're like heavily even yet. No, so I just wait. No, I'm totally gonna die, it seems like. I just don't know why. Like, who is kill who's shooting me? Is there, is like, is that a room where all those things are? Like the, the holes on the wall? Like, is oh wait, that a room? is it this guy who's like phased through? Ooh, it might be this guy. Yeah. I think it's this guy. Right? It seems like it was, yeah. that it's gotta have been him. This is a weird, this is a really interesting section of the game right here. Here. 
glad that we've just entered this level and we're already kind of like stuck. Okay, here we go. You we're not stuck yet. We're not stuck. We're just like, we have not progressed more than like a couple inches into this room. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about Ooh. this immort- Oh god. I'm excited about this immortality conversation. So what about you? When you think about like all the what ifs of it, what is appealing and what is not appealing? I mean, I I like the idea uh, just because I don't know. There's there's a lot of things that I would want, I would want, and I do want to do, mm -hmm. right? And if you have infinite time, like I don't know, I'm just I feel like I'm a very motivated person, and so like sure there'll be moments where I'm like not going to be productive or I don't necessarily want to do anything with my time, but it's also like hey with infinite time, I can afford to be lazy for a bit, but then also afford to do a bunch of other things with my time. And so like, I don't know, I think, I think not having the pressure of, of time to worry about mm -hmm. is actually kind of nice, because then it allows you the chance that you need to kind of like make every episode of Game Theory great, or like think up, uh, play games that we would never be able to Ooh. talk about because it takes too long. Like, I mean, that's a very minor scale of looking at things, but if you look at it Ooh. from a bigger sense, right, there's so many big projects that I always want Careful, to do. Careful, you're very close to dying right Thank now. You. There's so many big projects that I'd like to do that I don't have the time to do because, you know, you're just so caught up in the day-to-day. -day. Yeah. But with infinite amounts of time, suddenly you can do a lot of that stuff, which is pretty, pretty nifty, right? Like, I've always wanted to, like, be able to write a book and, and educate myself about, like, all these different topics that... I just don't have the time to like fully research and things mm -hmm. in my in my life uh, because your time has to be split in so many different ways. Yeah. And so, oh my god. Oh whoa. Hey. Oh. Oh come on, dude. Get out of here. What are we doing hiding behind that box? <laughs> Lameoid. Get out of here. He was just scared. He was scared of me. Well, mm -hmm. he should be because I blew him out of water. <laughs> That's right. Then how do you stop people from knowing that you're immortal? How do you and, stop people? And should you? Like, uh, are you afraid of being, like, a test subject? If, you, if, if it is found out that you are immortal. Well, here, here's the thing. If I'm immortal, it doesn't... Like you said, like, time becomes meaningless. Like, one of the things... And I, we, we've talked about this briefly on the live stream before, mm -hmm. right? Which is, like, time... Is, time and money are your two limited resources, right? So if all of a sudden, one of your limited resources of time goes away and you just have infinite amounts of it, you can do all that stuff, right? Like you can dedicate your, hey, do tests on me or whatever, like find out what the deal is with me. Um, the, I think the variable that you bring up that I don't have a good answer for is the idea of, yeah, what if like humanity ruins yep. ruins Earth and now all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, no, I'm, now I'm, I can't die in a system where literally, uh, the, the planet is post-apocalyptic or whatever. Ooh, oh, oh, you're freezing. Go. Yeah, I am. Holy jeez. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. We are freaking out right now. It crashed. Ooh. It totally crashed. Um, Do we have to get that, in to fix it? That level was pretty unstable to begin with. Yeah. Well then. Did we download a bunch of new things on this? We have a lot downloaded. Yeah. Poop. Is it a lot downloaded or is it just that like the computer is underpowered for like all the, cause it, it seems like whenever the rollerball guys come in, it's just like the graphics just start chugging really heavy duty. Yeah, I think it's probably a bit both, but we have downloaded a bunch for all of the sections. Oh, poop. Well, there you go. Well, we can, I, now I can talk more, more, I don't know, more focused yeah. about all of this. Okay, so, or um, immortality. Yeah, I think, I think that's the way I look at it though, mm -hmm. is I think, and it's interesting because Good Place kind of talks about that where like at a certain point you just get bored or like life has no meaning unless there is a finite end point to mm -hmm. it and you know it and that's what makes life worth living. Whereas for me, I, I don't know. And maybe it's one of those, like I've always had an intrinsic motivation mm -hmm. to, to like do stuff, seek out things, uh, you know, find new experiences, teach myself, whatever. Like, and I, I always want to do more of that. And I, I know infin infinity is like one of those things you can't really wrap your head around. Yeah. But like, and so at a certain point, yeah, maybe there is this time where it's like, well, now I'm just, I've done it all and now I'm just super bored. Yeah. But I don't, yeah. And see, to me, it's like the question of where humans are going. Yeah. And whether or not it's a place that's 
worth being in or if there's will be a place on the other side of it that's worth being in. Ooh, this is deep. Uh, I mean, like, this is the kind of stuff that you think about when you think about, like, immortality and what it means. So, like... Yes, I'm, this is good. I've never, I've never thought about this. Is, this is fun. This is good. Thanks for sitting on the couch, Amy, and doing, like, deep, deep thought time with us. This is what I like to do with my life. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like I like that before this before we start turning on the camera We're like what do we want to talk about during this live stream? We're like, oh, we'll talk about dentists and dreams oh, Yeah, no, let's talk about immortality and the meaningless meaninglessness of life great. Yep. I mean it, it It's one of the things it's why I like sci-fi It's why I like fantasy yeah. because I like the questions So like things that motivate me and like interest me when it comes to like writing or mm -hmm. stories and yeah. all that kind of stuff are like trying to answer those big questions or trying to answer like the questions of like what human human existence is with all of these really odd variables that you'll never get to necessarily yeah. know an answer to. Okay. And so like it because of that you start thinking about, you know, what does it mean to live forever? Like one of my favorite instances of immortality is Doctor Who. Okay. Yep. So like Captain Jack. Yeah. And the idea of like is immortality fully immortal or like what does it mean to not die? Sure. Like just or continuously die. Right. And then like for me, like the hardest part is the idea that everyone that you meet and everyone that you start to care about yeah. is just gonna die. I think, yeah, and and I do think like what Chris brought up earlier is a big one, which is like what is the context and yeah. and, and what are kind of the rules around this? Because I agree, like if you're living an immortal life, but you're the only one doing it, and everyone yeah. else around you is kind of like you know slowly dis like that's terrible. Like yeah. I, I agree with that. You yeah. know, to to have to say goodbye to all of your loved ones would be so sad and then to have to like restart new memories with new people like that's that's really hard yep. so i think like in that case you're totally right but i think if you're talking about immortality in like a a heaven sense or like mm -hmm. your consciousness lives on in the internet sense yeah. right that's an inter i think that's more a more interesting question because now all of a sudden it's this idea of you live the, the presumably heaven and also mm -hmm. the internet to a certain yeah. extent is this like infinite space yes. right where like infinity things can happen so you live in an infinite life in an infinite space so but then that gives and i guess for me like the biggest hang up is just that idea of just constantly having to like redo and restart and do all of that yeah is so like if you get to do that it's the possibility that you're not the only one sure yeah and i, I do think that like okay so you get to you get to keep like one or two important people yep. or it's, say like the important people in your life yep. right does that change things Possibly. Like, I'm not against the idea of, like, the consciousness going somewhere else or, like, heaven where everything exists to a certain degree yeah. and all that. That's fine. I, I think more of existing in one state for so long that, like, to me, like, it's it's why, like, I moved from where I grew up. It's why I moved there. Because, like, you get bored. And eventually, like, if you have forever, you're just going to end up at a place sure. that where you've done all the things that are in that place. And is there a possibility for you to do anything? Well, and I think that's, so it's, it's interesting, right? And again, like, Good Place kind of yep. brought this up. And I think any sort of, like, heaven or internet, like, forever, like, like, you need the system yep. to give you the user options. Yes. Like, because the human mind is so boxed in with, like, our experiences, what we can imagine, what mm -hmm. we can fathom. And, and as a result, we exist in a very, like, finite space. But if all of a sudden you have this external environment or force or internet, heaven, whatever, feeding you options, like, hey, did you know that you could, in this place where anything is possible, you know, mix together these materials to create new, like, whatever, yeah. like, any number of things that are just so far outside the realm of, like, comprehension like it's like oh okay between like the good place and like the idea in the matrix where you are yeah. conscious of the ability to do all the things hundred percent right now all of a sudden that becomes i think i think that becomes a very it becomes a different kind it becomes a different kind of conversation conversation yeah. it becomes a, a very different prospect of like oh if i have a, a system that's in part doing some of this thinking for me and showing me the angles that mm -hmm. i can really take this to full advantage now all of a sudden that's awesome if you're talking infinity with just what we can imagine it's like yep I can only imagine monkeys with go karts and monkeys with <laughs> it's it's the example that the good place uses right yep. monkeys with go karts and monkeys with jetpacks and monkeys in submarines and whatever, and now I'm done with monkeys and it's like no like there's a lot more you can do you just gotta like think outside yep. the box and it, we tend to get focused on things hey game's back Woo! how you feeling about our chances here Chris um fifty fifty oh, oh solid fifty fifty wow that's exciting stay We're on the here. side of the glass half full right. <laughs> 
We're for as much as I'm talking about like all the sad parts of immortality, I'm a fairly like optimistic person. <laughs> I, I look forward to the day that we can like have a utopia like Star Trek. Ooh, yeah. I mean, that would be like the goal, uh -huh. I think. I guess that's like the big problem with immortality is I think you kind of mix utopia with, with that. Like if if a spe if the context is it's an invention like an altered carbon situation, yeah, there's really no way for it not to just be rich people are eternal overlords and everyone else is just eternal underling. Yeah. Well, and that and that was the thing I was gonna ask about actually is like okay, so with technology being where it is now, would you? Because it seems to be like. In, unless there is like an afterlife and things like that, it, it seems like the closest humans are and the most realistic way to have this conversation is like, okay, would you upload your consciousness to a VR system so that you could potentially live forever? That, like so that, that is the question, right? Like there, there's that one black, it's, the, it's that Black Mirror episode where everyone is dead, twist, uh, they were living inside like a simulation of life the entire time. Yeah, see the ooh, you're getting shot. I know, I'm getting shot already. Yeah, and that? you're dude, dude. They just keep pushing the doors open. They're not invited to this party. I know, get out of here, guys. Come on. I wanna steal his gun again. That was awesome. That was really good. That was useful. Hey, where you at? Why'd you leave? Is he Where'd hiding behind boxes again? Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what the deal is with this nah. the stage. It, they just like to sneak. They want sneak attack damage. Right, except they're on giant roller balls. So it's and like, yet still oh my gosh, sneaky. get out of here. Whoa, there's a bunch of you. Yeah. You weren't kidding when you no. said there was a bunch of them. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, get away, get away, get away. Well, I'd love to, love to hide over here in this corner right here. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. You're, you're vignetting so bad. Right? Come on, come on, guys. Why can't we all just get along? That's why. Oh my gosh, oh. get out of here. Oh my gosh. Place. Oh no. No. You're like glitching through it so he can shoot you. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my god. Okay. That was terrifying. Hey, stop. <laughs> hey, okay, we're dead. Fine. Oh my gosh. Fine. That was Wait, am I alive? You're alive. Am I dead? What? No, you're dying. You Man, are you are dying. I am very <laughs> Oh, okay. We somehow got through the lag there. Right? No, what that was was me dying. There, there's a, there's a like revenge mechanic, where if you kill the person, oh, you get to that you, come back? you get to keep, you get to keep living. Oh, okay. Whether yes. you deserve it or not. Great, well, that great rules of life. <laughs> <laughs> so like here, what did I shoot him? Well, good. Okay. Hmm. So okay. The one thing that, about that is that is the dilemma I present you with now. So the uploading of consciousness just means a lot of trust in people that you don't know. And, which is like, do you trust that the people who are trying to collect the consciousnesses of people uh -huh. have like your best interest at heart uh -huh. and that they're not going to either like trick the groups of people that they don't like into like joining it and then delete people uh -huh. or like- Well, if you're deleted at that point, like that's almost nothing lost, nothing gained though, right? Like, I mean, like if you're gonna die, Right? Yes. And, and someone's like, hey, you can quote unquote live forever as a virtual oh, consciousness okay. or whatever. Like, upload upload your mind here. And they're like, whoop, never mind. Then my answer is no, I'm selfish. Yeah. Beca oh. Because it's the same thing that's the debate about teleportation. Yeah. So there's a video game Dude. called Soma. Uh huh. That's all about. I feel like people have requested that one for us to play. I love that game. So that game has like one of my favorite like existential questions, Ooh, okay. which is like the idea of like, what, well, it's one is like, what is consciousness? Because okay. it's all about like, like you're saying, uploaded life. Yeah. But then also, like, what does it mean for you to upload yourself places? Okay. And so the the thing is like with that, and it's like the idea of teleportation where you destroy yourself to recreate yourself somewhere else. Uh huh. The one who chose to do the thing never gets to continue experiencing stuff. It's another it's, version of it yourself. It is another version and of yourself, And so true. my answer to that is no, I am too selfish to <laughs> do that. <laughs> so you're like, I'm, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. No, it's more like, I don't, I don't want to die just so like another version of me can live and I don't get to know. Well, okay. Like, yeah, but, that's but I, not, you're still dying. You're, there's just a copy of you that- Yeah. Lives. And I don't know if I, I, like if I care enough that if I don't know, 
does like, some version of me need to, yeah, need to know? Yeah, does your, yeah. That, that's interesting. I honestly feel like we're, like... This is deep. It's more reasonable to think we'd get to mortality via some sort of cloning device than some sort of... Yeah, but cloning never turns out well. Via some sort of what device? <laughs> well, some, like, you know, the island scenario where you basically clone something and harvest... You, you clone a person and harvest the clone's organs to live forever. Uh-huh. Like, that to me makes more sense because the biggest problem with immortality is decay that we just naturally face. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not so much, it's, it's the, the physical weakness of the body, right? Yeah. That ultimately, bring, that ultimately brings us all down. I saw an ammo crate up here. Oh, there it is. But I would also totally pay to have a clone of myself made whose organs I could harvest. So like you, if, would, you would harvest your clone's organs to live? Yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> well put, Chris. Well put. See, I, and I, I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. And I also just wonder if I'm just like not that like afraid of like the question of what is like after being alive. Ooh. Because I feel like that's just too interesting to miss. I don't know. But that's my thought. That is. That's that's actually really fascinating. Huh. Well, there you go, yeah. friends. Though I will say, when I think of uploaded consciousness, the first thing that comes to my mind is actually the episode of Star Trek, that Spock's brain, uh -huh. where you have all these brains in jars just being like, we are the superior beings. And they're just brains in jars sitting on shelves. Yeah. And it just, it, and you to don't me, like I'm, that idea no. of being a brain on a jar, in a jar? No, because then, like, eventually, if you believe in the concept that, like, uh, I don't know, aliens exist or, like, intelligent life exists other places, eventually, in a long course of time, yeah. Someone will stumble upon you and just be, and you'll be like, I am the superior life form. And they're like, nah, <laughs> smush. <laughs> nah, smush. Nah, smush. Nah, smush. But I don't know. That's my thoughts. That's but, it. That's fascinating. Yeah. Well, this is, this is it. Oh, here, here's a buddy. Oh, Ooh, there's a couple of them. Right. There we go. If you, wait, if you wait a little, they start to roll your way. That is true. Ooh. I love their weird jaunty movement. Oh, right? hey, whoa, hey, there's a guy up there. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. They're just everywhere. Right, this, no wonder it was slowing down before. We just need to purge more of these guys out of here so that way we can, like, get the system running at a proper speed. Ooh. Right on, buddy. Come on. All right, hold up. Let's see if we can actually make it out of this Ooh. opening room, Careful. huh? Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Damn it. Also, the music of this game gives great atmosphere for, like, this kind of idea. For, like, right? Like, all these, like, big question ideas. This isn't hitting him at all. It doesn't really feel like it, now. There you go. So, Altered Carbon. I've heard of that show. It's, it's a Netflix one, right? Yeah. Good? I really liked the first season, but because of the basic premise of the universe... Yes. It's gonna be like a season by season thing each yeah. season is based on a book in this series okay and each one has like a whole new cast of characters and actors and stuff the thing is i'm not sure basically the the core concept is that humans have figured out how to be immortal yeah but not in the body so bodies are basically um i forget what they call them uh, in the in universe, but it's basically like you can throw away your body. Your body is irrelevant. If your body dies, they'll just take the like little special part of you that they've managed to create that lives forever and put it in a different body. So Ooh, you need oh, to just run away. I know. I need. I know. Ah, oh, poop. Oh, damn it. So it's a cool show, but it depends on the acting of the the body, right. the characters. And <laughs> I do know that Angelica Schuyler is in at least one season. <laughs> Sorry, you just punched him in the face with your gun. I and love it. Was it was very funny. <laughs> yeah, I like punching things in the face with guns, man. That that seems to be a, a winning strategy right now. I'm, I'm that's learning. Your, that's your campaign slogan. There you go. I'm learning more and more punch things in the face with. Yep. Guns in every hand to punch in the face. Love it. So, well, we're making very slow progress. We are, and I can't. Right. It, I'm trying to tell like exactly where we're going because it just feels just like a giant oh, area. It. Ooh, 
It's throwy man. Oh damn. Are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead? Because historically they have not been dying when they fall in this level. No, but that is like the funniest way to fall. Just... <laughs> if you're gonna fall, if you're gonna have a death fall, might as well make it a funny death fall. I mean... Chris, are you uploading your consciousness? Nah. No? You too? You, you, or I guess you neither? Yeah, me neither. I, it's not, it's not living forever. I would live forever, but I don't count that as... As like you yourself living forever? Yeah. It's an invalid way of doing it. No, it's just you don't... It's like eating frozen yogurt and pretending it's ice cream. Ha! <laughs> well, frozen yogurt is great. Yeah. yeah, but it ain't ice cream. But it's not ice cream. That's, <laughs> no, that's true. But as we've talked about, I'm afraid of eating ice cream. So. Well, we talked about that off camera. We did, but it's still valid. I'm afraid to eat ice cream sometimes. <laughs> you might want to contextualize that oh. just slightly. Just, had, just putting that out there. I had a, a, a tooth break while eating ice cream. And ever since, anytime I try to eat ice cream, I just will always consciously have the feeling of like a tooth breaking. Yeah. And so it makes the experience of eating ice cream not great, but it does not transfer over to things like frozen yogurt. So. There, really? It, does, it so, does not. So that's the thing that you didn't tell me. And that's, I think that may be the most fascinating part of this is the idea that it doesn't transfer over. No. Cause it, like, I would think like, oh, any, any cold creamy substance would absolutely kind of trigger a similar response in you. No, it's just the the thought of eating ice cream. Like, I think that the texture is different enough, and then it's, it's more of a conscious knowledge than a subconscious knowledge, does that make sense? Yeah. It's like a, I know this is how this tooth broke, or this is when that did, so like, if I recreate this experience, all my teeth will break. Oh, hey. And I cannot do, I, I can't deal. But frozen cannot, yogurt, it's cool. Cannot deal. Cannot. Ooh. No. Doesn't work as well for boxes. Yeah, I, I was gonna say boxes are stronger than than the flesh of these guys. There's a battery. <laughs> I found a battery. Boxes That's cool. are stronger than flesh. It's true. Tis tis very true. Okay, wait. Someone. I saw I saw one of their gun sights sweeping over my body. Where you at, home slice? I saw you. Man, there, this is a huge arena right? to explore. This is wild how big it is. I'm actually shocked by how big this whole area is. I wonder if that's why like, it had that issue with like, keeping oh, up. Oh, I, I guarantee that's why I'm, like, cause it's still. It is, it's, it's a little. Can you, are you seeing the chugging? I can see a little bit of it, depending I'm, on like, how fast you're moving. Cause I am feeling it hardcore in the headset, which is. Yeah, it's, it's a little laggy. Not, not the greatest. I was gonna thing. say, how do you deal with like, with things like Boneworks and Duck Season? How do you deal with the really long sessions in VR? I can't do like 10 minutes. Uh, I mean, definitely by the end. Like, it, part of it depends on, like, the, the quality of the, the graphics and the experience, right? Like, that's definitely a big part of it. Mm -hmm. um, whereas, like, right now, this is, this is a hard one to get through. I, I'm going to be completely honest there. Like, just because of how chugging our graphics are mm -hmm. right now, it's, it's a bit... It's not just hard from, like, a gameplay standpoint, but it's hard from a, like, ooh, I am kind of feeling a bit sick doing this. Yeah. Um, but same time, uh, I will say, shoot, did I break my back? I did. Yeah. Ah. No, you just oh, moved no, it. Ah, uh, poop! But you can, you can do some box stacking. Oh, thanks, Amy. You're welcome. Thank you so much for, for letting me know that I could do some box stacking. Oh. I'm there for you. That's why I'm here. Please get up there. Ah. Can I do the box stacking? That's the, that's the actual question. Can you actually box stack? Uh, case? can you stand on top of one, lift it, and turn? That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Oops. Oop. Come on, oof, come on, chug. Less chug. I was hoping that by thinning out the enemies, yeah. it would have made it a little bit more stable. I mean, I think it just has to do with how much other stuff there is here. It's like, just a huge arena. Yeah, and there's probably more people hiding places oh, yeah. that it still has to like think about rendering. Right. For. Oh, okay. okay, so now we're on top of this guy. So now. Leap! Oh, get up there, yeah! yes! Oh, that was great. That was I an Olympic so level now. leap. Whoop, that's not the thing I was expecting to come out of. <laughs> that was not the, what I wanted to come out I, of. That I don't pouch. think you should like. I don't think in, that the idea of hitting things with batteries is a good idea. I think that's just dangerous in general. You say that. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> but at the same time, live life on the. Who? Come on, slow down. There we go. Live life on the edge, Amy. See right. now. See if you were if you had immortality, 
you could smack things with batteries without fear. I mean... Because, you know what? You'd be immortal. Maybe. Oh, but no. I don't know if I would want to spend my immortality on smacking things with batteries. That is... Ugh. Do you think there's a way to, like, kind of speed through the level since it seems to... Be unstable as all yeah. get out? Yeah. So you don't have to do it again? But, Amy, then I miss out on all the ammo. Maybe, but... There's so much hidden ammo, Amy. I know. Amy. We can come back for ammo. But my ammo, Amy. <laughs> my ammo. Shoot, where did the... Oh, there's my other gun. Uh... It was just Ooh. hiding in the darkness. Right? Okay, we're gonna... I like you. I like Ooh, you. Ooh, fancy. You know me. Look. Oh, you could do, like, military. Ooh. That's, that should not happen in a military Yeah, you, you, you can do military things. Don't do that. Uh, okay. Okay, so where are you supposed to head? Swords and spiders. Those are, is that like one of the balls that they stand on? It is one of the balls they stand on. Huh. Right? It looks like it, yeah. Why do I want to hop on? It's also, I guess apparently it's also a, so we can't open that. Um, apparently it's also just a modern seat for you to have at your local cafe. Ooh. Okay. I mean, barrel. there are the people who sit on yoga balls and do Ooh. things. Ooh, noodles. Noodles. Noodle stand. Anything noodles behind the noodle stand? Nothing. I feel lied to. Right. I want, I, some, I want some fresh, delicious noodles. Right. I mean, it's not. It's almost lunchtime, so why not? Provide, game. Provide. <laughs> <laughs> provide. Provide Amy with her virtual lunch. Yes. She deserves it. There's no calories in virtual lunches. That is accurate. There's also no satisfaction. I was gonna know. say, yeah. There. I feel like there's a lot of things that there there isn't a whole lot of when it comes to virtual lunches. Nope, nope, don't, don't be pulling them out of my belt. Be pulling them out of the ground there. I like how that one looked like you grabbed it with your foot. <laughs> I did. It, it Appar just apparently like I can just grab things with my foot. That's good to know. It means you're dexterous. Ooh, we can unbox some garbage. That's fun. Ooh, garbage. Anything, th this level, like, on right? one hand, I, I really want to explore this level because there's a lot of stuff everywhere. And it seems like I can climb, like, it goes most high. of it. Right, it goes really high. Is this the blue key? It seems like this would be the blue key. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. Oop. Oh, I hear I hear some angry person. Stab. Yeah, stab so, again. So are these people who came into the game and were turned into a thing? Is that you what know, that is? You know, it's a fair question, and we don't talk about it in the theories, and I've, that's, Oof. oh, hey, there's two of you. So that's one of the things I've been kind of thinking about like what exactly their role is and yeah it, do, it does seem like they are physical i think what it is mm -hmm. is they are the nullmen who are either being fed the the melon or basically they're nullmen who are slowly gaining a, a corporeal body uh -huh. right i think they're the ones who are slowly like becoming oh, conscious and sentient? yeah becoming conscious or human or crossing out of the game world and yeah. into or out of the virtual world and into like the real world you know okay that's that's kind of the way i'm hey that's kind of the way i'm seeing them hey come on uh but again like <laughs> it, it deviated a little bit from what our core like uh bone work theory was yeah so i didn't really dig too deep into that they're, they're coming everywhere. Yeah, they are. Holy jeez. Ooh, there's like three of them in front of you. And yeah, they are. That guy. Okay, hold Ooh. up. Okay, hold up. Okay, here we go. Come on, someone. I know you're all around me. The guy's trying to hit you. Are you kidding me? Are you Ooh, kidding me? Careful, careful, careful. All right. I'll the guy's coming up the side. Yeah, I see him. All right, he's over there. Oh, hey. Great, you're there. Oh, there's another one. Oh, hey, jeez. You're dead now, great. There's so many There's people. so many, it's no wonder this section is just chugging. Okay, there's you. So it, there's is, one... it is fun that it feels more stable as, it's the thing is it's their laser sights that kill the, yeah. the run time. Because their laser sights sweeping over. Okay, so what if in your virtual immortal world, yeah. there was just a lot of lag and you couldn't do anything oh, about that, it? Oh, I mean, that would suck. That, that would be the worst, a per, an eternity with lag? Yeah. Oh, that would be awful. That is the actual bad place. You I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say, that's the bad place right there, Amy. 
<laughs> An but eternity spent with lag. <laughs> that would be the worst. Just every time you try to reach for your, your like cup of noodles, your, your hand just keeps like glitching out. Like, yeah, that is, that is, I think, a modern equivalent of HE double hockey sticks at this point. Right? You're stuck yeah. in a virtual environment where you're like phasing, like there's no collision physics, and so you're like phasing through things all the time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that would be the worst. Like, literally, that would be just awful. There's... Oh, okay, there's more. Uh, isn't that... Isn't there, like, something in X-Men where Kitty Pride like, she ha she talks about having to physically, like, concentrate sometimes on keeping corporeal? Or is it someone who absorbs... There is a, a mutant story about a person who, like, absorbs powers and can't control that phasing power and oh, just, like, has to continue to fall. That's interesting. Oh, I, I, I know which one... I know yeah, I can't think of, like, what it is, so maybe someone in the chat can or like the comments can like leave something yeah what that was yeah because i know i know what you're talking about uh was that kitty pride i don't know I, she was the one who she's was... the one who can face but i don't know if it was her or like someone with a similar power set in a different story or something like that but there is something like that and that's like one of those like i imagine being trapped somewhere where you're constantly glitching is a lot like that oh that would be the worst and it's just, it sounds terrifying right Cause, yeah it, it is interesting to think about, like, and again, this goes to what we were talking about, about infinite, uh, infinite possibilities and, and thinking about things that your brain can't even comprehend. Yeah. But the idea of not having a body or not being physically connected to your representation in the yeah. world around you is actually, like, we don't think about how unsettling that would be because it's so far removed from human experience. I mean, I feel like the but, closest you get is, like, sleep paralysis. Where, like, you're conscious, but you have no ability to move your body. That's, yeah, I guess that's true. But even that, like... You feel it. You feel it, yeah. right? Like, there's still a physical sensation attached to it. Yeah. Whereas in what we're talking about, yeah. it's, like, literally, you are falling through the world because you have, like, no body and no physical... Like, that's... Yep. that's whoa, hey. Oh, uh, poop. Ooh. Oh, poop. I gotta kill this guy really fast. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, gosh. Where's that put me? Did that just put me back? Can you, yeah, can you just run? I was gonna say, can I just run? Where yeah, because I don't think they respawn. It doesn't seem like they respawn. Okay. Hey, that's good at least. Battery's still there. Yeah. Wait, just what, gotta... I, what I got in my inventory? I've got a ball peen hammer and a gun. That's you just don't it. have the blue gun that you were using. Yeah, I don't have my blue gun. This is a bummer. But you have a hammer. I have my ball peen hammer. Get ready to be peened! No. Get ready no. for the bean. No. No? No. Is that bad? Yeah. Bulky hammer? I know, I mean, if that's what you want to be remembered on the internet for saying, yes. Dang. Oh. Okay, the ball peen hammer, not a good weapon, no. Amy. Spoiler alert. No. I, don't, I don't know if you... Oh, I'm Ooh, dead. Oh, careful. I'm dead. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's fine. This you... guy's the final boss. Clearly. <laughs> this guy's clearly the final boss. Uh, here, that's what we're going to do. Oh, actually, here, let me actually fight him. Just like the huh. cuffs, right? That's interesting. Right. It seems like, like it seems like you should either be able to like put something through there, or right. It seems like all of this is stuff that we should be able to like climb or. I mean, can you climb the lights? Like I bet on you the could. other side, on the other side where there's not platforms that to hit you. I mean, I uh, think you could, huh? That's really interesting. Yeah. Again, since this is this section is taking so long. I think that I'm just gonna move once, forward. Once once you quickly. finish, we can do a thing where you can go back and look at all the things that you couldn't figure out. Yeah, let's do that because I wanna I wanna move through this game at this point. Yeah. We've been in this game for so long, but there it, it, it's so it's it's an interesting game. Like that's the thing, it, and that's why I want to spend so much time with it. And it also brings up a lot of the big questions. It right? I was gonna say we're having some pretty deep conversations as it relates to humanity and our place in the world. So what's your like? If you had to reference, like, some kind of fictional universe, what would be your ideal one for humanity to go into? Ooh, man, that's, <laughs> that's a tough question. Fictional, best so, fictional universe for humanity? Like, so, like, like how I mentioned, like, I think Star Trek is a pretty yeah. decent, like, showing of, like, humanity doing the best it can to evolve to a certain point. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's one that you think is also, like, a good one. Star Trek's a pretty good one. Um... It's probably the most realistic it's, utopia. It's, it's realistic, but yeah, and that's what I was going to say. It's, it's, it's one of the real utopias, which I appreciate. Yeah. 
like, yeah, it's got its problems here and there, but for the most part, it is, like, a utopia in terms of, like, peace and society. Yeah. And, like, hey, let's all pursue just betterment for everyone. Like, I, I like that mm-hmm. a lot. Um, so that's actually a, it's a good choice. Um, I liked, I liked you bringing up Doctor Who before when it came to just general immortality concepts. Yeah. I think that's, are you, are you kidding me? Are you, wow. Well. Uh, clearly Boneworks is one that I think is, is a great <laughs> concept of like where technology and humanity. Oh yeah, you want to end up in the void? Oh, so much. I'm so excited about ending up in the void right I now. I mean, you've been Can't in many tell? voids from I, the history of GT Live. Ha! Ah! I feel like my whole life is a big old void at this point. <laughs> uh, wait, oh, here's someone. Oh, battery! Oh, battery. Curse you, battery! I'm coming Ooh. for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sneaky, he oh! just doesn't know. Get his gun, get his gun. Did I, did I, did I get it? He did, did. Stop it, stop. Oh, come on, dude. Go. I'll give, just stay over give me, here. Give me. Stop it, stop it's it. safer. Oh shoot! Oh no! Oh no! Good, get away! Get away! Get away! Oh no! I need I need to load my weapon. Or surprise him! Ah! Oh! <laughs> punch in the face with guns. I'm telling you, punch in the face with guns is gonna be my motto for this game. <laughs> that is that is that is my new spirit animal. Punch in the face with guns. Doesn't I, Chris? It is the strategy that wins every time. Bless you, Chris. Thanks. Blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Ooh. Let's, let's press the red button. Will you press the button? Yes. Yes, I will. Oh my gosh, slow down. Come on. Ooh. 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 Come on. Come back to me, game. <laughs> Come back to me, game. Ooh. Get. Oh my gosh, why? Am I just phasing through the floor? I think What's it. Going on here? Maybe? There we go. Is there any way to turn it off? Anything in here? Doesn't look like people. right. That seems odd. Right? Is it like a, just a place to hide? Yeah. Is this just like the respawn chamber of hey, you're getting shot by a lot of people right now, so maybe we're just gonna hide in here. Maybe. Uh, fictional universes. What about you, Chris? Do you have a fictional universe? I, I'm thinking about mine. Ooh. Um. I know it's a tough one. I don't know if I would make anything too too different. I would totally like some sort of immortality thing. It would be fun to do space stuff, though. Yeah. I would I would like to do space stuff without the fear of space stuff, if that makes sense. So having humanity master space stuff so that it's just the same thing as the danger of flying in an airplane? Yeah, I think because that's that's the thing, right? To me. And we've talked about it before, but like to me, space is so like it's so cool, but it's also so unbelievably terrifying because like everything is so much higher stakes, and like deaths that you would associate or kind of that would come with being in space yeah. are so much more awful and horrific than like a normal death. You know, it's like oh, you're not just dying; you're like suffocating to death or freezing to death in outer space, or like Literally, oh. Like- Staring at the blank nothingness as it happens. Right, yeah, that's exactly it. Or it's like, oh, you're in your suit, but now you're just like, oh, you became untethered from your spacecraft or whatever, and now you're just spiraling off into the infinity of space until you slowly stop breathing. Yep, like, until you run out of air. Y- yeah, like that. <clears throat> and, and because of the momentum and stuff, like, you literally are spiraling out forever until you. Like, th- that sort of like emptiness and just complete lack of control over your life and yeah and you're just sitting there waiting for it to happen and so like that's terrible um to me that's what a, what an uplifting live stream let's talk about all the different <laughs> ways to die i um, mean it relates so well to this game in general it does no you're you're totally right like it feels very appropriate to talk about in the context of a game where it's all about like a guy trying to live forever and consciousness being tied to a virtual environment and all mm-hmm. that stuff. So no, I, I agree, but it is. So yeah, for me, I think like, I would love to do space things if space things were, you know, like a little bit more stable and <laughs> reliable. I love this, this is my new way of dealing with these guys. I wonder so, if, if when they fall off, they just die. So I'm, I think that's what it is. So so that being said, Chris, what, what were your thoughts? 
I guess, like, it would be really cool alternate universe if it was some sort of future that had gone through either a peaceful or horrific, unimportant, like, massive imperialistic world <laughs> order thing. Wow! <laughs> I, I like that you went massive or unimportant, like like, like two know, very like, different, two well, no, very no, no. different it things. Is, it is unimportant in universe because I would want it to be like long, long after. But yeah. basically, some sort of planetary unionization has occurred. However, it occurred. Yeah, and it and happened. We're like over it now, or we're getting culturally with it because it's like a thousand years later and we're doing space stuff, and we've somehow figured out how to do it relatively safely. But I don't know, I like the idea that there's like nothing, like we find that there is like plant life and stuff, Yeah. Mm -hmm. but that we're first as far as like developmental in intelligence, or at least as far as we can find we're first. And we just start colonizing other planets, but not in like an aggressive, violent way, in like an explorative, we're the intelligent species of the universe so far way. Hey, so, uh, and I, we can well, let, well, let's talk about that in a second here. This is really interesting. Huh. Hmm. Whoa. This is really interesting. Okay, so we're in, we're in myth, right? Yep. It's all the games from Duck Season up there. Oh. So you have the Duck Season cartridge right yeah. there. You have, uh, like, uh, Final Fiesta was one of them. I forget what all of the names of them are, but they're all lined up up there. And you also have, there's Duck Season. Yep. Stress level zero. That was one of the promo images that they had after Duck Season release. And there's his dad. That's uh, David's dad. Yeah, yeah. That's. Huh. So, d so we're in Myth OS. Yeah. So, so one of the things that we talk about in the theory, right, and especially the the last of the theories, is the idea that stress level zero the company who made this game, in-universe is a real entity, right? That's their logo. We've seen, we've got, gone to their offices, things like that before. Yeah. So that isn't much of a stretch. Like, it's very clear that they exist as a game-making entity in this world. And apparently they made the game of Duck Season in-universe? In maybe? I mean, it, with, the, with your theory, that would make sense because he had to have played Duck Season, right? Well, and it, so it's... Well, and so one of the things I bring up is this possibility of... I wonder if I can get to Duck Season. Um, is this possibility of Stress Level Zero and Duck Season being, like, the first experiment out into the void? Um, and that's what prompts Monogon to figure out, like, hey, there's something here that we can take advantage of. Yeah. Here, there's Duck Season. Can you keep it so you can? Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering if this, if holding on to it, I'm gonna try to hold on to it. Can I hold on to it? Me? Is it? No. Huh. Maybe you can't. <coughs> Excuse me. Listen? Huh. Apparently I can't. Can I hold on to the monkey? Because the monkey's the other, one of the other characters that's from Duck Season. No. I do find that interesting. Right. That's really you odd. Can, you can keep most things. Like. In the right. Game. Even. Even like. Like my ball peen hammer. Yeah. My ball peen I was able to keep, and it was pretty useless. Like, it's not a established weapon or anything. Here, we're going to hold on to duck season. Maybe we'll bring it through to the end. I'm assuming nothing will come of it. Yeah, because I'm wondering if you can't hold on to it, if it can't go through the... The reclamation Because didn't, didn't we try to throw in, like, one of the dice? Yeah, like... we've, yeah we've tried to throw in other items in the past. So I'm assuming it's not going to work, but it's worth a try. And it is nice that we did most of the work already clearing all this stuff out. So, yeah. we can so now you get all of your secrets. Huh, that's really fascinating. I did. And I liked how it was like a little shop for it and everything. So one of the one of the current working theories that a lot of people have around Duck Season yeah. and Boneworks it, right now is the idea that it is actually a... Um, that so Duck Season took place inside of Myth OS. That okay. Duck Season itself wasn't a real experience, but actually was an experiment inside of this Myth OS system. Okay. Which I'm not 100% convinced. Of. Like, I don't believe that it's fake. Oh, there's another battery. Fine. 
You're gonna get a separate clint or something, I'm sure. This is from, huh. This is from the game Hover Junkers, okay. I believe, which is Stress Level Zero's first game. So you, you're seeing a lot of like callbacks to other stuff in here. Are you in like the museum? No, right, where exactly are we? We're in, we're in Mytho, oh, Hover Junkers right here. It does say here. it, yeah. Can you use it? I'm good, that's fine. No. Oh wait, no, we can. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. Yes, we can. We just need three batteries to do it. Here's <gasps> one. Yes. Here's two. Here, I'm gonna put Duck Season down it here. It's worth Shoot. holding on to the battery. Right? Go figure. So wait, I did see a third battery that will Is that not another one that's over there? Where? On the other table? No, that's a that's a radio. Oh, yes. I know, it's, I know it's easy to confuse. Oh, uh, it's just far away. No, I get it. Plus, I'm looking around constantly. Huh. Yeah. So this clearly is going to activate. Oh, this is so interesting. So that's two. Yep. Okay, there's an ammo box. Shoot, where's the third battery, I wonder? Did we see? Oh, then let me hop out of here. This level, oh, man. This is just like the callback level. Like. This is such an interesting level. I didn't anticipate this. Like I said, this is the one level mm -hmm. that I didn't really know anything about. So I'm actually really excited to be seeing all this stuff. So does that mean that Hover Junkers is also like a part of all this? Right? It, it does bring into question Hover Junkers, doesn't it? Yeah. I what? am very curious about that one. Do you know anything about Hover Junkers? Like not, not really. Um, just because it seemed to happen so much earlier than their Ooh, previous careful. games. You're getting shot from something. Am I? Yeah, you have a little bit of it yet. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Okay. All right. Oh. There we go. Let's see if we can. Oop. 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 Are you not dead yet? Uh, you need to hide. All right. I was hoping that that would reset my health. Nope. Hold that. Thanks, Amy. Yes. Well, I'm just All right. You, there's a little bit at the edges, but you're not as bad. There you go. You should be good for maybe. Okay, do, wait. Do, do. Yeah. I wonder if this is one of those things that if we had the hover junker vehicle, like if that's, if that's the intended way to beat this, potentially. Maybe. This is empty. Nope. I just don't remember seeing another battery. Uh, it's it's a big map, and also there's all that climbing at the beginning and stuff yeah. that that could. But then you they would you would have had to have held on to two batteries for reasons that you. This this game does seem to request that I you hold on to things much next longer. Next to you, than you next to you. Really? The other way. Oh hey. Punch him. Yeah. Okay, wait. Yeah. Wait a lot. Yeah, I see it. I see my eyes slowly closing. Yep. As the as the embrace of death wraps its arms around me. It's very poetic. Thank you. Yeah. Am I good? I yes, feel like you I'm should good. be good. You're good. Ah, yes, poke you in the head with my gun. Gun poke. Gun poke for the win. Right where? Oh, there's a there's another ammo crate there. Boop. So you've gone up pretty high now. Man, there is so much ammo in this level. Right. I mean, I get why there's so much gun battling going on. Ooh. Oh. What? The noodle dogs. Noodle dogs? Okay, this is wacky. All right, so here we go. Oh, shoot. Noodle? So wait, here okay. we go. Yes. Is this, is this, is this the duck? No, this is no. the duck season. The carpet, the rug looks familiar and the couch looks familiar. Yeah. Is there a, well, I mean, there is a TV stand. Ooh, hello, Shay. Can I get that? So there is like a TV stand in front of the couch and the carpet. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Oh, the knife yes. has returned to my grasp. Yes. Oh, it's and a knife. And what's on top? Just more knives. More knives. Okay. You have a dagger and a knife. All right. Ooh. Oh, I got two. I don't need. Okay. Dagger, dagger. Double dagger? No. We let's let's do. Ooh, ooh, hunting, hunting blade here. Huh. Knives, Knives for, for sale. sale. Oh, you there's a box. nothing. Ooh. Here. Here. Boop. I was wondering if you were going to try to like bullseye it. To be like, Oh! I had one, I had one shot. Great. 
I do like how in these little things you seem to be pretty safe. Right, it is nice. No? No. Okay, there, there we go. go. What did that drop? So Whoa, jeez. Was it, was it the clear? I think it must have been. That seems so, like, odd comparatively to all the other little baubles. It's a fancy cleaver. Oh, yeah, I just meant, like, I would have expected the little ball with the cleaver in it. Well, sometimes those are dropping things that are a little bit more... Powerful? Li well, like, yeah, they're dropping... So those either drop things for, like, the infinity mode where... Ooh! That was, that was fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're either dropping things for the, like, infinite mode, which are the little bobble balls or they're dropping things that are like secret weapons that you just need to try and carry through to the end of the level so here hey buddy sorry i don't trust you boop 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 okay no okay shoot i really want to find that other battery oh hey you're you're there yep Oh, chop, 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 chop. That's Oh, he's not dead yet. No, but that is a fairly strong cleaver. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, the time tower. That's Ooh. the... Oh, there's... That's the thing that, that we've been building towards this entire game. Woo! We're so close. I mean, we'll, we'll Amy, put... we're so close. We'll put it on the list to so find close, a third Amy. battery to do that some other time. Oh, but there's a third battery. Yeah, but we don't know where it is. I know, but the whole level's open to us at this point. Is it? Because people keep shooting. People keep shooting, but we're like, like very clearly we're towards the end of the level. Yes. Oh, oh come on. Yes. There we go. Smash, mad smash. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, hey. Ooh. God, there's ammo everywhere in this level. Okay. Boop, boop. Never underestimate the garbage can of a video game. Right? Always, always check. Rule number one of every video game ever, check the garbage can. Huh. See, there's stuff up there. Hey, there's you can go everywhere. up so far. Yeah, this is this is a surprisingly like vertical level for, a, it's just a massive level. Right? Oh. It's it's a massive like massive one space level. Like we're not really traveling to that many different like areas. No, definitely not. It's, we're just going up. Oh, and we're gonna need to, and we have to go up in order to. Okay, hold up. So what do I? I have so many knives, Amy. I have so many knives. Hey, wait, a knives can be stored in gun spaces? Huh, that's wow. interesting. I'm gonna keep that knife. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna lose my just dinner knife. Okay. So what are we gonna need here? Here's one of those pull down things. Yep. Can you can you hook it to that? Uh, can I just climb up? That's why. What am I doing here? Can you get to the plank? And so get I up need on to get up. Yeah, I need to get up here. Uh, I have to go around the other way, I think. I have to go this way. Ah, uh, where the ladder is. I see. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. I know we're entering that territory where I'm just like flailing around. <laughs> okay. Like I said, it's a game for me to try to duck your hands. <laughs> right. It's it's interactive <laughs> for all of us, Amy. Okay. I do appreciate how they've structured this one out a little bit more, so that way it's like, there we go. A little bit more conducive to running around. Oh, Woo! yes. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Prepare to get gunned in the face. Get gunned? Yeah, get gunned. Wait. You're behind you. Okay, here. Oh, hello. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Shooty Man. Right? Mr. Shooty Man. Oh, there's multiple Shooty Man. Oh. oh. And he is your bartender. No! YOLO. <laughs> He's like, I was just trying to see if you wanted a drink. <laughs> right? No! I don't! You, you drink it too... You you mix it too weak. <laughs> hey. You hey, stay... You all Arnold Palmer's, so I do stay not want Yeah, stay behind the bar. <laughs> stay behind the bar. You've had enough. You've had enough, sir. I'm cutting you off. Oh, man. We're getting more ammo and guns, which makes me think that we're not done. No. Poop! I mean, they do continuously give you ammo and guns, so there is the possibility that we are done, and they're just like, look, we gave you things still. 
Like, right. <laughs> like <laughs> here's our gifts. Love us. We gave you more. Okay. Hold up. Ah! And leap. And okay, hold up. I see you up there, ammo. I know there's ammo I missed before, but at least this one's easy to get to, so I should get it. Okay, Ooh. there's that. We got shakers on everything. Okay, here we go. So, and then this was locked, so we can't really open this. I'm just going to double check that we're not opening a shortcut there. No, okay. Yeah, that's still locked. Okay. Uh huh. We're mm -hmm. at the bar. We're at the bar. At there's the club. a party. There's the private room. You have the couch, bottle <laughs> service. It's all good. Wow. These are words that I, I was, just heard. I was going to say, have you ever done, like, you, you talk about that as though you're very knowledgeable about that, which I'm very I, impressed with. I am very not. I, I was going to say, I've never done anything like that. No. But you hear you hear people talk about it I know, it a lot which is why I can speak to it. It's, it's like acting. I can speak it's to like it acting. like I know. Ooh, we're going into a Ooh, club. a rape. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I like their dance. Oh, what is this weirdness? Oh, this is this hilarious. Is amazing. I love it. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, hey, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they are eyeball hey. heads. They I, have the I VR. thought you were dancing, guys. They have the VR headset. Right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, they've been attacked by the the spiders. Maybe you look like someone who's coming to stop their party. Right, guys. Does I, that I don't mean wanna, that the, I, the, piders, the spiders only want to party? The, right? The spiders just want to dance, guys. So, oh, I freed you. Aren't you happy? I freed you. I freed you from your spider imprisonment. No? God, stay down. Stay down. This is my new this is my <laughs> new strategy of just poke people with guns. It's 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 your dance. Like they're doing this head bobby weaving thing and you're like, stay down. You guys do your thing. Ooh, security. Going up to security, authorized personnel only. And you people are. apparently walking near the yellow key in the middle of the dance Ooh, dance he room. Just, he just fell. Buddy. He, he can't come. Okay, you can't come up. He great. can dance, but he cannot ha! walk upstairs. He can dance. He just can't do much else. Hey, here we go. The Nullman. They're pulling gravity cores from the system clock. Maybe to open some kind of void gate. I, I don't know, but all I know is that this is super dangerous. So good luck, man. Oh, super dangerous. Ooh. You know what that means? That's a call for me. To take all the ammo. Right. Take all the ammo. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Oh, come on. Go. No. That just disappeared. Okay. I'm curious what the casting call for this video game was like. Like, do you look like a slightly edgy, like, ah. hacker? The, the casting call was the Freddy Wong's and Corridor Digital's of the world. <laughs> hey, we grew up on YouTube together. You do quality like VR stuff because Mike D like they were all part of that crew back in the day, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's it's I think similar to a lot of things in life. It's like you work with the people that you know that's and true. who you know are reliable and who do good work. And so I think that's 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 my prediction as to what we're seeing at play here. All right, here we go. That's all fun. More work guns. With your friends. Work with people that right. Know. It's always fun to give your friends a job. Like to be able to do a thing, right? To, and and because then all of a sudden it's a job, but you're you're getting to do it together, and so it's a group, like it's a project with people that you like, which is most oh. important. And hey, is this prepared. down to that original level? Maybe. Shoot, I want to. Oh. I know. Amy, we can, I want to check we it out. We can come back. We can do a whole episode that's just like clips of you finding Ooh. secrets. Oh no, there's a whole other. Oh my gosh. No. What? Oh. Oh dear. Oh no! Hey Chris, how long have we been playing? Uh, it's time for us to close out this episode and our next Boneworks video will just be this next level. No! It looks I, like we might have oh, to pause. Oh, this is... So this you is can actually time. get through this level next time. Oh, poop on a poop! Just make sure you're not going to be standing in a place that you're going to get shot. Oh man. Oh man, there's so many things here. Wait, this level's we're, so we're big. We're gonna do it in just a second, but we have to say goodbye to the people who are watching this one. Amy! No. Amy! We're so happy that you watched okay. this premiere. All right, hold up. All right, here, let me pause. Shoot, this is a, just a big level, and it didn't yeah, help that we had no, tech issues. Okay. Oh, well, now I'm just flopping all over the place. Pausing didn't work at all. Anyway, all right. All right, apparently this level's much bigger than I expected, and we talked a bit too long about existential crises, so... Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll finish Boneworks. 
who knows? I keep saying we're like one episode away and it seems like we're, we'll, we'll find out together. Like it's the game that doesn't end, but there's so much interesting stuff. And there's, now it's connected this was to- This actually really an interesting level. There's an interest, there's a lot of stuff there. And I know that there's a bunch of stuff that we missed, but Always. We, can, we can do an episode all about all the other secrets. Thanks for coaching me through that. It's okay. I appreciate that. I'm here for you. Anyway, guys, we'll check back with you soon. I'm going to continue playing this, and we'll probably just record it for another episode. So in the meantime, remember, that wasn't a stream. Twasn't a live stream. But thanks for watching it anyway. We'll see you next time.